Good morning, my name is Mr. Tucker. We are here at Fairfield Middle School and this is my eighth grade pre-algebra class. All right guys, so go ahead and please finish up your collaborating thoughts, discuss with your table what you guys had in common and what you guys had differently, and then we will wrap up with the class discussion. You said they have variables in them? Is that what Jolie said too? He said that they had what in them? So what did you say? Okay. Well, thank you for setting me all this. There's only one X mark, well, two X marks actually, because of the Y and the X's. I will put some notes, but. Oh, snap. <laughs> means you were deep in thought. Good job. Neither Y or all right, so let's, let's wrap this up. So you all can see the posts of your classmates, right? On your screen, all right. So when you look at those posts, do you see anybody else who's not at your table, who's not at your table that has discussed the same thing that your table has discussed? Okay, so who would like to give me one thing that somebody else discussed that's not at your, t that's not at your table, but you discuss as well, yes? There's only one exponent, okay? Victor? Um, they, have, they all have a variable. They all have a variable, Nishan? Um, I was going to say that, but they can all be solved. Okay, all right. And Brandon, you got one more for us? Um, one of the blocks have parentheses. One of the... Boxes have parentheses. Okay, all right. So what about any differences? Do you see something that somebody else said that you didn't think about, but that you can now agree with? Christina. Um, differences, three has a variable of x and one has a variable of y. Okay, I got you. Anyone else see something else that someone else said or another table discussed that you didn't discuss but you can agree with it, Victor? Three x variable and one y variable. Okay, all right, good. All right, so we are going to move forward from our number sense routine and we're going to get into our activity for today. So you are in groups. Your table is going to be your group for today, all right? Your mission today will be to learn how to budget to plan a party using coupons. What lesson have we just learned that we can attach to coupons? We did Okay, we did a lesson with the Chick-fil-A thing, okay? Um, so discounts, right? So when you have a coupon, that's usually money that you're gonna what? Take away from the total or, or add to it, to the subtotal? Exactly, good. And every, who, who doesn't like a discount, right? So here's what we're gonna do. You guys are going to work together as a group, as a table. Each person will have one of these sheets. So I'm gonna have someone to pass these out to you. And then, let me get through the instructions first. Thank you guys. And then each group will have one of these because you will work together to list the items that you want to purchase for the party, okay? So if, Victor, can you pass one of these out to each person? And Nashawn, can you pass one to each table for me, please? And I'm gonna show you where you're going to find your items. All right, so if you look around, if you look around the classroom, you will find some QR codes. So with the QR codes, you will find the items that you are eligible to purchase, okay? Yes, you are going to scan them. Yep, you're going to scan them with the iPod, iPad, sorry. All right, so all you will need for this is something to write with, the iPad, and the two sheets of paper that your group just received. God bless you. So that means you can close your laptops. Pencils are in the pencil case, yes sir.
All right, so your, you have a blank one of these, right? So these are the different items that will be available for you to purchase. These are posted around, so you guys will use this worksheet on the other screen. You're going to use your, your blank worksheet that looks like the screen that I just put up there to fill out and to compute your different prices. Okay, so notice we have different percentages off for each one. If you guys look at the your, your blank sheet that looks like this, you have percentages off for each item. So it's going to be important for you to pay attention to the picture that you scan because it'll be a certain percent off for each item. Okay, so this is just to help you stay organized all right because once you scan it you may forget about what it was so place that item in any of the one according boxes with the correct percent off and then in this box what do you think you should do it. it's going to give you the original price and what should you do in this box write the, original price. Write the okay you can use use the original price but you are going to want to show the calculation for how you get the discounted price okay because you are going to be paying the discounted price you're not going to be paying the original price okay so once you get this all planned out after scanning the QR codes you can then come back to your tables and then you guys can start to discuss as a group what items you would like to purchase now there are some requirements that I'm going to have uh, or suggest for each team okay so you have a budget of fifty dollars okay so we are planning a class party. You have a budget of $50 to purchase the items that you would like for the party. You need to purchase at least three different types of items. You can purchase more than one of one item, but it needs to be at least three different types. Does that make sense? Okay, all right. And there we're, we're gonna have a little competition. So I would like to see which team can spend as much of their $50 as possible without going over the budget, okay? So the idea, the idea is to spend as much as you can because whatever you don't spend, I'm taking back, all right? So it's not like you, you can spend $10 and hold on to the, to the other 40, that's not happening. You gotta spend all of it, okay? Who knows what an allowance is? Well, me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So imagine that this is an allowance Imagine this is an allowance, but they're going to be taken back whatever you don't spend. So you're going to want to spend all of that, right? Okay, so if you open up your iPad, turn your iPad on, the QR code application should already be on your screen, all right? Also on your iPod, I iPad is the Desmos Scientific Calculator, Calculator application, okay? So you guys can use that to calculate as you're going around as a group. Are there any clarifying questions that you guys have for me before we get started? No. Okay, all right, go ahead. So the QR codes are posted around. Go ahead and see what's, what you're gonna put on your shopping list. So all you need to write is just the name of the item and the amount, the original amount, and then calculate the discount. And then if you decide you want to purchase that, then you put it onto this list, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw this one. It ain't. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's in that little square. It's the three percent off. Is it? So remember, your main focus right now is to figure out what's the, the discounted cost of each item. You, you may not want to start putting things on your list yet until you see all of your options. How much? $8.98. Do you have to put the dollar sign? Yes. You want to purchase these items? Or this, is this just you seeing what you have? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so use this as a planning guide, and then this will be your final shopping list. 
So if you're per if you're putting this stuff on here, that means that that's definitely what you're buying. But if you're not sure yet, put everything here and then cal calculate the discounted price and then choose your make your decision based off of your budget and what you really want. Next. It was 48 each. But are you paying the original price or are you paying the discounted price? So should this be less than this or more than this? Less than. So how do you calculate the discounted price? He said we don't we not buying it, we don't have to buy it. Have, have you calculated the discount yet, or you're just writing the original amount? Okay, and then you're going to calculate them later. Okay. All right, so how many of us have at least five items scanned? How many groups have at least five items scanned? Josh, you're... All right, come on guys, let's pick up the pace here. So at the very least, you should be recording the original price of all of these items. Make sure you're doing that on your planning guide, not on your shopping list yet. Oh, it's 15, it's three on the ceilings. It's one that, did you get that one on that poster? Yeah. Okay, that's the one I was looking for, because I remember seeing it. <laughs> if you can hear my voice, show me so. Whoa. Do me a favor and please return to your seats so that we can continue. Finished or not, please return to your seats. So you should have a decent amount of items to choose from at this time. You should have a decent amount. One second. All right. So let's give ourselves a few moments to discuss our findings. So as you're going around the room, I seen most people just snapping the picture to take the original cost. Did anyone start to calculate the discount yet? No. Okay. All right. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and try to calculate the discount. So when speaking of speaking in terms of discount, guys, what is what are some keywords or what are what are some things that you remember from the notes that you need to do when computing discount and the actual discounted cost. Um, Christina? You have to take the original cost and multiply by the percentage. Okay. Once you find the total amount, you gotta find the, um, the, call, the new subtotal, then you gotta multiply by the percentage of the three. Okay, all right. Can anyone say what Christina said using their own words? What is, what, what is she really saying? Or what? How can we put that in, in other words, based off of the notes? How do we know to, do we add or do we subtract the discount? How do we know to do that? Because it's discount, so that means that we're taking away, okay. So what do we take away? How do we find what, we, what we're subtracting? The subtotal and the... Well, we have to find the final cost, right? So we have to do the subtotal multiplied by the what? By the percent, and then we subtract that. Okay, good. All right, so through this activity, what are some takeaways? What's something that, what's a strength that either was, what's, what's a skill that was strengthened, or what was a challenge that you think you were faced with, with this activity? Oh, this Oh, we can keep doing this. Challenges and strengths. What do you mean by that? What I mean by we can you, keep uh -huh. doing Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, we can do it on the regular. Okay. 
So you mean like in class or on a, on a regular outside of class? Okay, so this is real life? Okay, that's a good takeaway. I like that. Any other takeaways? Either a challenge that this activity presented or um, a skill that was strengthened for you? Okay. So, how was it challenging? No, not really. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining us today here at Fairfield Middle School. We hope that you've enjoyed our experience, and we hope that you've learned a little bit about budgeting and calculating discounts as well. Go! Go back.